In North America, there are over 60 million pole top distribution transformers in service. Every year, 3 to 5 percent of them are re-energized, making this one of the most common operations for linemen. Lightning is a leading cause of transformer failures. Other causes include manufacturing defects, mechanical damage, and different current-related failures. Pole top transformers are usually connected to the primary supply network by a cutout fuse, which will operate when there are fault currents from the distribution network or evolving faults within the transformer. If these faults result in permanent damage to the transformer's internal components, an internal fault has occurred. A fault can produce several types of gases that when mixed in particular proportions can become explosive. When a fault occurs, there is a sudden increase in tank pressure and gases collect in and above the oil. If the internal fault is undetected and the transformer is re-energized, the risk of a violent failure increases. The explosion seen here is an example of one of the hazards line workers may face when re-energizing transformers that have an internal fault. Industry studies conclude that one in five transformer re-energization operations involves a transformer with an internal fault. To reduce risk, utilities have developed thorough but time-consuming procedures. Unfortunately, these procedures are not always followed because of the urgency to restore power quickly. To identify faulted transformers and enhance line worker safety, IFD Corporation developed the Internal Fault Detector, or IFD. The IFD sensor is a mechanical device requiring no electrical connections. When an internal fault occurs, the pressure increases suddenly. This triggers the highly visible orange fault indicator flag to pop out of the side of the transformer. An IFD equipped transformer with the highly visible orange flag displayed must be taken out of service and replaced. After the IFD activates, it stays sealed to prevent oil spillage when removing faulted transformers. The flag has been designed for easy identification in daylight and in the dark with a flashlight. Note that the orange indicator flag cannot be reset. If the fuse cutout is open but the IFD is not activated, the chances are the transformer is okay to be re-energized, providing all normal fault checks are done. Nothing can be considered 100% when it comes to safety. The IFD serves a dual purpose, as a fault detector and as a pressure relief valve, or PRV. During hot days or heavy loads, the transformer will heat up and the pressure inside the transformer tank will gradually increase. If the pressure inside the transformer reaches the PRV activation level, the PRV opens, allowing air to escape. It closes when the pressure is reduced. The IFD PRV can also be operated manually, just like other transformer pressure relief valves. Installing IFD equipped transformers is almost identical to other transformers. The only difference in the process is the removing of the shipping lock once the transformer is mounted. Note, the shipping lock must be in place when transporting or handling a transformer with an IFD installed. IFDs are inexpensive to purchase and easy to install in new transformers during manufacturing. They can also be retrofitted in existing transformers. When installed on the side of the transformer above the oil level, the IFD does not interfere with any of the electrical components inside the transformer. The IFD is installed in single and three-phase pole top and pad mounted transformers as well as voltage regulators. The IFD provides line crews with the reliable information they need when troubleshooting distribution transformers. The benefits are, it's faster and safer for line crews to restore power, improve network reliability and customer service, extend asset life, avoid environmental damage, and create a safer job environment. 
As modern utilities strive to continually improve the efficiency of supply networks, the implementation of IFDs is key to enhancing the safety and performance of your distribution infrastructure.